everyone, my name is Katie Matteo and I am the food technology teacher here at Hillian. We just thought it'd be a really good idea to come into the school and do a, full, a few really cool recipes that you might want to cook with your kids or get the kids in the kitchen doing some cooking um, during this holiday period. So what we're going to start with is actually a really cool recipe that I love, which we call chocolate spiders, but at Easter time we use them to make uh, chocolate nests, okay, which is a really cool Easter themed recipe. And so I want you guys, if you can, to get the ingredients. There's only a few ingredients that you need to do this recipe. Um, and it looks really, really cool. So here's the ingredients that we need. Good old Chang's fried noodles, delicious. All right, we use peanut butter for this recipe, but for those students that can't have peanuts, you can just omit that part of our recipe. And then you need a good old block of Cadbury chocolate. You can use the Cadbury melts and you can do whatever flavor you want. So if you would like to do white chocolate nests, then you can do that, or if you want to have any other combination. Now, this morning when I went into Woolworths, this one was on special for only $3, so I thought that's what we're going to do for this morning's recipe. There's one more ingredient which I need Grace to get from behind me, which is the speckled eggs, and they form part of the garnish for this particular dish. And they look super effective against our chocolate in our nest things. Now, I know this recipe is awesome, because I first made it about 14 years ago, when I first met my future husband, and I cooked it for him uh, at a youth event that we we're going to, and he thought it was delicious and decided to marry me, so I assume it's because of the awesome uh, chocolate spiders that I made. So we're gonna turn, turn that recipe into an Easter treat for you today. So what we're going to do, it's really simple to get the kids involved, but we do need to make sure that someone is watching them as we're using the hot plate this morning. So I'm gonna get Grace to pick up our um, recording device and come on over to our hot plates this morning. Awesome. All right, so if you have a look, on my stove at the moment, I have a pot, all right, with water, and you can hear it starting to boil because I can hear it um, starting to bubble. So I'm just gonna turn that heat down a little bit. And then I've put another plate on top. Now, please be mindful that the plate that you put on top is heat proof. Don't put plastic or you're going to melt it. So I've got a ceramic, um, a ceramic bowl on top, and then I've got my saucepan full of water which has been boiling. Now we're using this technique to melt our chocolate because I feel like it's much safer than using the microwaves. Uh, in the past when I've had my students melt chocolate in the microwave, it has uh, not ended well. So this is foolproof and I've yet to stuff it up doing this method. So that's the one that we're gonna stick to this morning. So this is the fun part. Get the kids to open up the block of chocolate, which I'll get my kids to do in a minute. And you need to break it all up into the single squares and you put it straight into the ceramic bowl or metal bowl or whatever heat proof bowl you've got. And then you stir it until it's melted. Okay, so let's quickly get the kids to do that. Here's our chocolate. I'll give you guys half each. Oh, not quite half, there you go. Sam, there's some more. And then you just need to break it up into single pieces and click it in there. If you keep it in a block form, oh look, it's melting straight away, awesome. If you keep it in a block form, you are going to find that it's gonna just take heaps, more, heaps longer. So let's put the chocolate in there, delicious. And as I said, we just have to be really mindful because this is hot and we don't want our kids to get burnt. Awesome, how are you going, Sam? That's awesome. good. All right, Grace, I'm gonna get you to stir the chocolate. Now you might wanna use an oven net, which I'll get for you. Okay, so that way you can actually touch the ceramic plate because that's going to start to heat up pretty quickly. So I'm going to get you to do that, Grace, while I get you an oven mitt. I think this one's probably going to be the easiest. There you go, Grace. Okay. Got to make sure that we're safe when we're cooking in the kitchen so nobody gets burnt. Which way does it go? Like that. There we go. So you can <laughs> hold on to the edge there and then you can be simply stirring it around. Now, if you're able to have a look really inside, you're going to see that it's starting to melt beautifully there. Okay, now while that's happening, and it's melting really nice, I'm gonna get Sam to go over and grab our bowl which has our peanut butter in it. Bring it over here, Sam. Yummy. Yummy peanut butter. Okay, now Sam is going to put, I'm gonna move the camera so that you guys can see, he's going to put our peanut butter into the top of our thing. Now that's gonna be a bit hard, Sam, unless we have another spoon. So the easiest technique is if you put it over, and you take one spoon and rub it against the other one. There you go. So spoon that in the peanut butter in there. Good, Grace is gonna mix it around. Scoop and spoon. Oh wow, it's sticky. <laughs> That's what peanut butter is, it's all sticky. So you take one and you scrape it off. Yep, good, and then grab the rest of it. 
Now, I don't know if your kids are like mine, but I think they're going to be most excited about licking the bowls after we've finished making this recipe because the combination of peanut butter and chocolate is delicious. All right, let me scoop up this last part for you, Sam, and check to make sure we've got it all off. And Grace is going to be just melting it, mixing it all in so that the peanut butter is melting in with our chocolate. There we go. Take that one over here. All right, how's it going, Grace? Still melting? Yes. Yeah, all right, good. So keep scooping it from this side all the way around. Now this is the fun part. So once everything's melted, we're going to give Grace another oven mitt. Just be careful. We're gonna give Grace another oven mitt and we're going to, or maybe I will do it just so that we don't burn ourselves. And we're going to take our um, chocolate mixture here and we're gonna put it straight in with our noodles and mix it all in. So it's a really simple recipe, but wait until we show you the finished product, it's gonna look super good. Is it all melted now? Oh uh, yeah. Awesome, so I'm gonna turn that off heat completely. All right, I'm gonna bring you back over to where our dish is. And Sam, I'm gonna get you to pour those noodles into our bowl, okay? Good job, buddy. Okay. Now, I need you to take one of those spoons that has the peanut butter on it. Can you take that? Because you're going to help me mix it all in. All right. All right. So as we said, this part is really important that you're wearing proper protective equipment because this bowl is super, super hot. So is the chocolate. So we don't want anyone to accidentally get burned. So all you need to do is scrape out all that melted chocolate and peanut butter into our fried noodles. Now, kids don't like it if I make it too neat because they want to be able to have some remnants to lift. Is that right? <laughs> Which I secretly also like to do as well. All right, Sam, I want you to start mixing that all in. Start with the sides and work your way around. It is sticky, yep. I'll move my oven mitts out of the way. Now this thing will also be the same as our cupcakes in which we will have to um, show you one we prepared earlier once we um, put it in the fridge because it does need a little bit of time to set. Okay, Grace, I'm gonna get you to go into one of the drawers and get me another spoon. So have a look there, can I take over for a second? Mm -hmm. Wanna make sure that all our noodles are covered so we shouldn't see white part of the noodles anymore it should all just be replaced with the chocolate thank you very much and you'll hear it all crunching now I'm going to show you how to do one because with a nest you need to be able to have a little bit that's hollow and a little bit that's raised so that our little speckled eggs that we showed you earlier sit in nicely so I'm going to get a heat tablespoon here's my heat spoon and I'm going to put my mixture I'm going to get Grace to move the camera so that we can see all right put my scoop mixture on there and I just want to take another spoon and just try to move the mixture around a little bit. So you can see there, I've got a little bit of a divot so that my little eggs are gonna sit in there beautifully. And remember, kids, if you're doing this at home, you want it to look authentic like a nest. It's not meant to be a perfect circle. You want bits and branches and stuff hanging out the same way that it would look uh, in nature because it makes it look much more effective. So I'm gonna get the kids to have a go and then we're going to put it in the fridge. And have a go, kids. All right, so a big tablespoon of mixture. Oh, you're missing both. Okay. Grace to hold on to that one, yep. All right, put it down on the thing. That's awesome, just wait, because Sam needs to use that spoon. All right, make sure you get it all off. And it doesn't matter if you spill it, because you can just bring it back together, because the chocolate is going to set it all together. Now you're gonna try and make a little bit of a dip in the middle. Can you do that? You can use the tip of your, perfect. Use the tip of your spoon to move the, perfect. Now yours looks very authentic as a nest, man, well done. <laughs> All right, Grace, your turn. Okay. How much do I have to have? Just like one spoon? Like yep, one spoon. Now you can make them as big or as small as you want, but for this purpose, we're gonna just be using one tablespoon of mixture. Now I don't know about you, I wish there was smell -o vision because the smell is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Is that good? So looking awesome. All right, we've created a little divot. Perfect, now we're gonna quickly finish the rest of them and we're going to put them in the fridge and we'll see you back here shortly to do the final touches of decorations. See you in a minute. All right, welcome back. Our uh, special Easter nests have been in the fridge for probably about 
20 minutes to half an hour while we were doing some other baking. And so what we're gonna do is show you the finished product. As I said, it's a super simple recipe, but it looks really, really effective. So they're nice and hard now. You can put them in the freezer if you wanna have them quicker. And so all I do is take my baking paper and I just peel off my little nest and we wanna put it on a nice clear surface. All right, and that's going to make it contrast really, really nicely. So I'm just gonna put a couple of my nests on there. All right, and then we take our speckled eggs. Oh, they look so cute. All right, and we're adding our speckled oh eggs so into our little nest here. Oh, oh it's so cute. I wanna eat it. All right, and it looks super, super effective. Um, and it's really, really simple to do. So I'm gonna take the camera and let my kids have a go at making the nest. But um, what I want you guys to do is also send through some pictures of what you, your, your kids are doing as they're making these. And you don't have to use these speckled eggs. You might wanna to choose to use some of the other Easter eggs, but have fun um, building your little nest together. As always, please send us an email uh, with your creations, because we'd love to share with everyone else what you guys are up to in your kitchen. Have a wonderful Easter from my family to yours. Bye. 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 Easter nest. Miss Knight, are you ready? I'm super keen because I saved this for my second choice. <laughs> because I like cupcakes, delicious, but this chocolate covered crunch, I'm really looking forward to the, the different pops of flavour in my mouth. Oh, and texture. It's like she's reviewed yeah. before. She's a pro at it. <laughs> All right, Mr. and Mrs. Littlewood, it's time for you guys to pick up a Easter nest. I love it. Just look so realistic. I mean, look at it. And I said, the messier, the more authentic, right? That's what I told the kids when they were cooking Absolutely. it. Messy looks fun. It's like a real bird's nest. That's right. Now, do I eat a bit of the nest first and then eat yeah, the Yeah, well, this is, this is the question. Oh, it's so crunchy. <laughs> and the chocolate melts in your mouth. It does. Well, it's literally melting before us because the heaters are on in here. Yeah. So this is a concoction of Chang's fried noodles. You know what we used in like our Wombok salads that we've had before? And it's peanut butter, which I understand is Mr. Littlewood's favorite Absolutely. condiment. <laughs> and chocolate, dairy milk chocolate. What are your thoughts, team?